Hello friends, Jonathan Rhodes, owner, Masters in Trading. Today we're going to talk about Ver Biotechnology. We're going to do four things. For First, I'm going to show you the exact trade suggestion we had for Ver. Second, I'll show you how I tried to get filled, how I was working orders. Third, managing the trade, we'll touch on SKU. And then fourth, the fun stuff. Let's lock in profits. Let's get going. Starting off the original trade selection. Here it is. We share trades every Sunday at Masters in Trading. We do a live class every Monday. Make sure everybody understands the trade. It's a biotech trade. Symbol VRO. October expiration, bullish. Original trade, I personally was able to get filled on the 42 half strike for 340. My game plan is to hold until expiration. I will not add more than this one tranche. When I say I will not add more than just one tranche, usually we get in in three tranches. Buy, buy, buy. We ladder in because of the e-liquidity in VIR, I just got filled on the one tranche and that was plenty. The exact date the trade was shared, June 7th. The reason for the trade, we always have a reason. I do not depend on technical analysis. We need a real reason behind every trade. Emergency authorization of this category of antibody may be needed. This category is called, I won't try to pronounce it. The drugs mimic the proteins a human body would make to fight the virus that causes COVID-19. Buzzword, momentum, ver. That's why we like the trade. Let's talk about next, trying to get filled. Now, if we're looking at ver, V-I-R, I have you on the options. What I want you to notice, the August options, let's use the 60 strike as an example. 390 bid at 540. That's a very, very wide market. Market makers like to say, that market is so wide, we could drive a truck through it. This is a good market, 5091 at 5095. It's only four cents wide. 390 at 540 is $1.50 wide. That is a very wide market, very difficult to get filled. Let me show you what I did. Shared the trade with the members June 7th on a Sunday. The first order that I placed was going to be the next day, Chicago time, 9.51. Chicago, the market opens at 8.30. I was working an order, 5.30 limit bid in October. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get filled. I canceled the order. It just never got filled. That's life in the big city. You know what my risk is? Zero. I worked the limit order, no harm, no foul. But what I do because I've done the research, I know that I'm looking to get long ver. And then you'll notice finally, 622. I couldn't get filled in October. I went to July and I got filled on these 42 halves for 340, just like I shared with the members. I did that June 22nd, 14 days after the original trade was shared. So now let's talk about managing the trade because the trades worked out great, right? We got in for 340. The stock has rallied. When we got in, the stock was probably trading about 42. Stock's trading about 50 right now. Really good trade. But when we think about managing the trade, I was thrilled that I got in. I have a reason for being in the trade. I know it's difficult to get filled. So once I got filled, I felt good. I felt excited. What gave me even more comfort is something called skew. And the skew is how the options market is pricing a stock. Ver is at 50.95. So let's use 50 as the at the money. And here's what I want to show you about SKU. Let's go plus 20. Plus 20 is going to take us down to the 70 strike. Let's go minus 20. Minus 20 is going to take us down to the 30 strike. 30 strike is a quarter bid at $1.35. Wide market. Market makers like to say, 
that market is so wide, we can drive a truck through it. <laughs> the 70 strike is two and a quarter at 350. Of course, we could still drive that truck through it, but that, my friends, is upside skew. Why are the market makers willing to pay so much more for upside than for downside? I'll tell you why. There's a pandemic going on right now. This drug mimics the protein a human body would make to fight the virus that causes COVID-19. To me, sure as heck feels like the upside is a lot greater than the downside. So the skew is telling us that the market's pricing the stock to go higher. That is actually going to give it a higher probability of trading higher, which made me more comfortable in the trade. And here's the final outcome. Now, I only had a five lot. I tried to get filled, but the options markets kind of stink, right? So we ended up getting filled here and filled here. We ended up buying a five lot for 340. And then today, because it's expiration, I wanted to get out. I didn't want to be long ver stock. Not because I don't think ver is going higher. I just don't want to own the stock of a volatile biotech because what could happen is great. I end up locking in and making 2350 on this trade. But if I just let the darn thing expire and it expires at 51 and then all of a sudden Monday something happens and ver is has accounting problems or something crazy and trades down to 20, well, I'm going to lose $30,000. No thanks. I'm just going to lock in profit. Made a little nice $2,350. I'm going to put it in my pocket. Just work on building my trading account. Did that today. And again, you can see last couple of days, I tried to get out unsuccessfully because the options markets weren't good. And then finally, just got filled. So a little bit of risk. Bought a five lot. Overall risk on the trade was about $1,800. Ended up making $2,350. Shared this with the community. A virtual fist bump without really touching to everybody who took part in this trade. Congratulations. Great job. My name is Jonathan Rosen. I'm the owner of Masters in Trading.